beautifuls, this is Arami here, and welcome back to One Last Crane. We are heading off to school, and Mary's asking if we brought everything. I'm still confused on how old Mary is. I'm pretty sure there's like a, a little information somewhere. I'm probably on their Kickstarter or something. But since I'm already recording, might as well go ahead. Yep. Lunchbox, medicine, phone, purse, books. Purse. I get it, Mary. You have checked it yourself, haven't you? So, if I'm missing anything, you're the one responsible for it. Eh? That's mean. I'm just kidding. Besides, I've double-checked everything, so you don't have to worry. I have a phone, too, in case I need you for anything. Okay, then. I'll switch for Saki today, so you have to focus on your school, Yuki. Are you sure you want to postpone entering school? I mean, it's tough to search for a person by yourself. Now I'm more worried about you than about myself. Come on, Yuki. What could happen anyway on a bright day like this? Don't underestimate pe underestimate people, you, uh, Mary. <laughs> and I warn you, don't wear a short skirt or any any cute things. Just wear jackets or something that will make you look manly, okay? Why would I wear something like that? Because I don't want any guys uh, or any bad guys touching you here and there while I can't watch over you. I'll I'll contact you once in a while, Yuki. I can take care of myself. But if you're that worried, I don't mind if you call me often. Besides, I'll know that you're okay from hearing your voice. Okay, right, it's decided. I don't know why there are terms such as brother complex and sister complex. Caring for my sister like this isn't too much, is it? She cares for me too, like annoyingly. But that's what makes us family. As I wave goodbye to her, I look around to see if Shahiro is going to come out of her house. She doesn't, but we hadn't promised to wait for one another. After a few seconds without seeing her, I decide to walk to school alone. She might be already there, or perhaps she's just overslept. And in any case, we'll meet, a we'll meet again at school, so I worry more about my introduction to my new classes than I do about her. I mean, you could text her, just saying. <laughs> As in any classroom in the morning, everyone sits towards each other and seems to have a fun chit-chat. I wait at the front of the class, looking down at the floor as I calm myself down. It's actually not that hard for me to introduce myself in front of a lot of, pu of new people. But as, I in but as I in the hospital for such a long time, I might be shyer now, especially after living in America for so long, though I'm so confident in my Japanese. When the teacher calls my name, I let out a relief breath and enter the room. The class becomes quiet as soon as they see me. I look them in the eyes, trying- oh, I love these transitions! Trying to memorize all their faces and observing how they respond. It's important to give everyone a strong and confident impression, even though some of them don't seem to care. In a way that is not too cheesy, not too gloomy, I introduce myself. My name is Yuki Mur Murakami, and my hobby is reading comics. I just moved here to due to my father's job, so I would appreciate it if someone could be my friend and show me around. Wow, that's pretty bold. Can someone just be my friend? I would be too shy to even say that. Thanks and nice to meet you all. The teacher gives a brief explanation before pointing out an empty desk to me at the back of the class beside the window. <laughs> Classic anime move. I like the breeze and the view, so it's perfect. Hi. Ooh, you're cute. Someone pokes me from my right. It is a male student with a mess with mess with a messy blonde hair, telling me that either he doesn't like to follow the rules or it's just his style. Either way, I have to reply and be friendly with any classmate, especially if he's going to be sitting beside me for a while. I feel like blonde is like the the outcast hair for anime. <laughs> oh hi, I'm. Oh shoot, <laughs> Anui. I know. I I uh, I don't know. I know. It's not Anui, right? I, I'm gonna say I know. Is that? Is that show? I mean, there's no H. Or South. Sh sh Sota? Or is that Shota? 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 I can't even say neither of the words! You can call me. I don't know how to pronounce that. There's no H, so it can't be Shota, right? Soda? I'm gonna say Soda. Or Salta. Sota. I'm, call I'm calling him Soda. Not, like, not Soda, but so Sota. <laughs> Ah, okay, Sota. Nice to meet you. Probably saying your name wrong. Sorry, pretty boy. You can call me Yuki. Nice to meet you, Yuki. If there's anything you want to ask, ask me, okay? Okay. Gladly do that. I know quite a lot about this school and everyone in it. Oh, really? Hearing that, I don't miss my chance. How about a person, then? Oh, 
Oh, you want to ask about a girl I used to? Well, that's true. Then you asked the right person, mate. Mate. Hey, you there. Don't talk in class. Sorry, sir. That was a sir. That was a ma'am. Jeez, what a bummer. Well, maybe we can talk when the lesson is over. You don't have to mind the teacher, Yuki. It will be fine as long as you don't talk too loud. I mean, everyone else is doing it, too. I gaze around the room and see that what Sota what said is true. It might not be everyone, but many students are talking with each other and ignoring the lesson. Well, just a bit then, since I don't want to have any problems on my first day. Sure. Do you know a girl named Saki Nishimura by any chance? Hmm, Saki Nishimura, eh? Sota takes more than I thought he would I thought he would think about it. It means that he really cares about my question, but it's really hard for him to remember the name. Sorry, but never heard of her, I don't think. There are two ways to be popular here, bad or good. Bad means you're popular amongst the students who are geeky, gloomy, lonely, or something like that. And good means you're popular amongst the students who are cute, handsome, capable, or something like that. You get the picture, right? Yes, and what about it? I know pretty- I know about pretty much every popular girl in our school- uh, in our second year and below the first year. Maybe your girl's in third year, or maybe she doesn't go to our school, or perhaps she's just too ordinary to be popular in a good or bad way. Well, she's the same age as us. Maybe you have the wrong school? I don't think so. She said to me before that she wanted to go here. Wait a minute! Don't tell me you moved here just to meet this girl. Before answering the question, I realized that some sort of stranger reminds me of Shihiro, who was also probably this curious about me when talking with Mary two days ago. What should I say, though? Tell the truth, hide the truth? Sh tell the truth, Brand- man! No, not Brand, what the heck? Man? Well, if you want to be honest, then yes. What a man, dude! <laughs> to think that I could meet a romantic man like you. Everyone seems to call me romantic, and it might be true. Did you get a girlfriend because of that? If so, then I should learn from you, Yuki-sensei. <laughs> Yuki-sensei. I want to say something about that, but before I can, a piece of chalk hits Sota's head so hard that he holds it up. Luckily, the teacher only glares at me, and I escape from suffering the same punishment. Sota finally looks at the board, though he's grumpy about it. He just says to me that we will continue talking after the lesson, and I agree. She changed her name, I think because, like, maybe a family divorce or something? Parents divorced? Something along the lines. Why is it black screen? Okay. Even though Sota had promised to talk to me again after the lesson, some of my other classmates asked me about so many things that I didn't have time for Sota. Contacting Mary or searching for Shihiro. At lunchtime, I finally had some time and I decided to first talk to Mary. Uh, Mary? Yuki? How is school? It's fun. I've made a few friends here. What about you? You're doing fine, right? Yes. Don't forget to eat, okay? I have a clock here, but you don't. I don't want you to get tired or sick from doing your best for me. Okay, okay, big brother. You're really such a siscom, you know that? Nope, I just want everything to be okay, Mary. Okay, sorry, Yuki. And what about you? You're eating lunch, right? Yeah, right after this. I actually want to ask her about Saki as soon as possible, but it doesn't feel right to not worry about her, too. So, um... About Saki, right? Sorry, Yuki, but I haven't found any clues yet. I've asked the company that sold her house, but they refuse to say anything about it. I don't want you to be worried about it, so I'll just say this. I think something bad happened in her house, but since we don't have any conclusive evidence yet, we can't just throw away all hope of finding her or her family. And do you remember whether or not she had any relatives outside Tokyo? Maybe her mom or her dad? I don't really know. Wait, who was she living with if it wasn't her mom or dad? The thing I remember about her family is that her father was an alcoholic and kind of rude, and her mother was kind of timid. Oh. Hmm. It wasn't too good of a family, and I tried my best to make her time away from them to be as cheerful as possible. I mean, I didn't know what else to do. Yuki, don't feel bad about it, okay? I don't know what's best for you right now, either, but I'm trying to make my... I'm trying my best to make you feel alright. If you feel awful about your incapability, then you'll make me sad too, Yuki. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. But anyway, as far as I know, she doesn't have any other relatives, at least. Not any who she could depend on. If she did, she wouldn't rely on me so much. That's probably accurate. So then I'll try to ask more about around here while you're trying your best there, too, okay? Okay. Thanks, Mary. No problem. See you at home, Yuki. See you too. Hey, who are you talking to? I gasped in surprise. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you like that. It's okay. 
Sota pauses and seems to think for a moment after about what to say. I think he's going to ask me again about the phone call, but he changes his topic. So, do you want to continue talking about that girl? Uh, sure. But didn't you say that you didn't know any girl named Saki Nishimura? Yeah, but nobody I knew. But maybe I know someone who can help you. And I know where to find her right now. Come on. I glance up to my lunchbox and then to Sota, who has already left his desk. Can't we, can we wait until I finish my lunch? Do you want to get information or not? Between sake and lunch, of course I choose information. So I stand without hesitation and approach Sota. He puts his hand around my shoulder and pull, pulls me to walk beside him. Can I at least grab my lunch and eat while we walk? <laughs> Can't you at least tell me who I'm going to meet and where? The most popular mysterious among the mysterious girl amongst the second year. She always eats with a friend on the rooftop, so we're going there. Wait, how are you going to get any information from a popular girl? Yuki, popular people always have more connections than you'd think. Of course, she and her friends can help you find anyone in the school if you can befriend them. And I can be the one who leads you there. Wait, you're saying you're popular too then? I mean, he, he said that earlier. Oh, he's not? Nope. But I thought, Yuki, knowing a bunch of popular people doesn't mean you're talking with them. Popular people only hang out with other popular people. Then what are you? Because you're popular in my book. Meanwhile, the regular ones like us see them from afar. Except you will get special treatment because you come here in the middle of the semester. so you, And so you're sure to be approached. It won't be long for you to get popular with others. Oh. After understanding his real motive, I remove Soda's hand from my shoulder and refuse to follow. Look, you mean well, but I'm not interested in talking to a bunch of unknown girls just because they're popular. The girl I seek is not something, someone like that, so it's probably useless. How do you know? Come on, it won't be a waste of time for you to ask someone unknown, ask some unknown people. You need to ask as many people as you can when you're searching for someone, right? I'm trying to be helpful here. Maybe because I really don't know anything about Shizuma High School, I don't have any other choice than to follow Sota's advice. He might be after the girls than anything, but he's right. Okay. Can you at least tell me more about these girls we want to meet? Awesome! I'll tell you when we get there. But their names are Fuji Fujimoto and Nagata. Is that... Yep, new girl. Hmm? Nagata sounds familiar. But before I can tell Soda about that, he has already climbed up the stairs. Hey, wait! Is it Shihiro? I forgot their last names, to be honest. Finally, we arrive at the rooftop. It's wider than I initially thought, and a bunch of people are actually spending their time there. I don't know about Fujimoto, but knowing that Shahiro's last name was Nagata, I try to find her first. I knew it! I knew it! At least I remembered something. Yuki? Ah, oh, there you are! Wait, you know each other? Well, I wanted to make sure before we came up here, but you wouldn't listen. In a way, Shahiro lives next door to me, and we met each other when I moved in. Wait, Shahiro? You're... Uh, you already call her by her first name? I expected you to be popular, but not like this, man. But I guess it will be easier for me, too, to get into the popular group, then. Can we forget about that popular thingy a bit? A little bit? You're too obsessed with it. Come on, don't just stand here. You have to approach them, Yuki. We? Alright. <laughs> Alright, guy. I don't know why you're so scared all of a sudden. You'll find out why. I turn around to find Shihiro's already in front of me. What are you doing here? Hmm. Uh, well, I've told you about the girl I wanted to find, right? I'm looking for her, and this new friend of mine told me that I should come here. Ah, uh, hi, N N Nagata. Oh, Sota. He's telling me that asking famous people about Saki is more practical than asking no one. Sota, <laughs> Sota pokes my side hard enough to make me cough. Hey, can you be more honest than that? Chill, dude. It's not like Shiro will criticize anyway. You're not entirely wrong, but unfortunately I've already asked about her and no one knows her, so don't expect too much from us. Ask about her... to who? My friend there, see? The one with long black hair standing next to the fence. It's her. It's her. It's your girl. I look in the direction that Shihiro points out, right where she was sitting when I found her up here. At the time, the girl standing next to her was looking to the other side, at the view behind the fence. I open my eyes wide while she approaches. It's her. It's her. Look at the, the look at the look at the transition. This is so beautiful. I live for this. This is honestly beautiful. 
Her sharp yet gentle eyes have never failed to make me freeze, to make me want to look at them for as long as possible. I remember the scent of her black hair and how smooth it is when the wind sweeps through it. Even though she's older now, there's no way I could not notice her resemblance to her younger self. Saki? You're Saki, right? It's me, Yuki, Yuki Murakami. Don't you remember? In a panic, I shout. I don't care that Sota's pulling me back, trying to get me to not be so loud as I accuse a girl I barely know of being someone else. He doesn't know. It really is Saki, I'm sure of it. Yuki, you're wrong. Her name isn't Saki, she's... Shihiro, that's enough. I don't know who you are, but you surely don't have any... You surely don't have manners around ladies whatsoever. We've just met and you're accusing me of being someone else. Someone who I even heard I haven't even heard of and in front of so many people. You're making me ashamed. N no I didn't mean it like that. Do you really think I care? Just like that she walks past me while Shihiro tries to stop her. I can hear her stepping down the stairs without answering Shihiro. Sorry, Yuki. Asuka isn't actually like that. She sometimes gets in she sometimes gets in a bad mood. It's not just you. Just to you, okay? Maybe it's because you called her by the wrong name, but I'll try to tell her that you didn't mean it. That you're just desperate to find this girl, and so you mistook As Asuka for Saki. Asuka? I'm actually still in shock. The word escaped my lips without me my realizing it. I just don't know what to think or say. Asuka Fujimoto, the girl you met earlier, is my friend. I know her, so you don't have to be worried about this, Yuki. I'll go after her and tell her about you, okay? Wait! I clench my fist, not being able to even stop her to say anything about my actions earlier. I just want to explain that the person she called Asuka Fujimoto really resembled Saki Nishimura a lot, even though they bear different names. <laughs> you can change your names. I a tap on my shoulder interrupts me. Confusion. It's Sota. Sorry, dude. Remember that I've always wanted to you to go to her and not me? Even though Fujimoto is popular, she's really hard to approach. Now god, I was able to befriend her somehow, but it's like a miracle to everyone. And now you've made the queen upset. I don't know what to do to fix this anymore, Yuki. I mean, being the enemy of a famous student, especially Fujimoto, can get you into trouble. But I'm not an enemy to anyone. How could you say that? Sorry, but that's just how it seems, Yuki. You've upset her. Just hope that Nagata can get you out of the situation. I have a bad feeling about this. Asuka Fujimoto's first impression of me was probably the worst, but I'm still sure that she is Saki and that I was that what I did wasn't wrong. I don't know why she's she's like that. Why Shihiro could befriend someone so contrasting with her, or what kind of queen she is. But one thing is for sure: my heart tells me I'm close to her, to Saki. And somehow I feel that Asuka Fujimoto can't help me find her, even though she may be, even though she maybe just resembles Saki and it's not actually her. Feeling the breeze, I close my eyes and inhale as much air as my lungs can contain. I feel like she probably had to change her name, um, because her mom told her to, to escape from her father. And when I let it, when I let it out, I see the infinite sky with a strong will that somehow I'll find Saki in this school. Maybe in the end, I still want to believe in my future. It's the end of the demo. It would be the perfect way to end the demo. Yep, it is. <laughs>
Okay, that was beautiful. I wanted to say that um, that the, the guy Sota is quite charming. He is really charming compared to our main character. But our main character is more of humble style. Um, their Kickstarter has officially closed, so I'm pretty sure we can still support them on some other uh, website. Uh, on their Ichio, Ichio, however you want to pronounce it, you can support them by their PayPal if you guys wanted to. They have reached their goal, but I'm pretty sure the more uh, funds they have, the more they can do with the money. Anywho, I cannot wait for this game to officially come out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be crying my eyeballs out. But one thing I, during that little, like, intro scenery thingy, um, was my character pinning Shihiro to a wall? Like, <laughs> okay, is there a way for you to just not go after main character girl, Saki? Is there a way for you to just go date Shihiro? Is that a thing? That's a thing, holy crap, dude. Uh, that's kind of weird, because that would break my childhood love story. But anywho, I have really big hopes for this game. The art's beautiful, the color coloring of it is all beautiful, the transitions are beautiful, and especially just for a demo, I really like it. Um, the CG art of her smiling when she sees us, that is not something we saw during the route playthrough. Pretty sure that girl is Saki. And she's just personing as Asuka, cause I'm only assuming that she had to change her name because her drunk father is trying to find her and her mother. That is my only conclusion. I have no idea. But anywho, this is it for the demo. If you guys have any games you want me to play and test out, or like, uh, like, bring out or bring to light so they can get more recognition, Definitely just link it down below. Well, not link it. <laughs> I don't know if you can link things. I, I think it just automatically goes to the spam folder when you do that for me. But just definitely tell me down below what the game is and such like that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys in the future.